Ryuji Mukudori purchases the world's first full virtual reality MMORPG, Infinite Dendrogram, Cheshire. One of the AIs in charge of overseeing the game informs Ryuji that he must select an online alias upon entering the game. Ryuji selects the moniker Ray Starling as Ray enters the Kingdom of Alter. He meets Liliana Grandria, an NPC who requests his assistance in locating her sister Million. After finding Million in an abandoned orchard, they are attacked by demi dragworms despite the fact that Ray's brother, Shu has offered to assist in the quest. With Shu dragged underground and Liliana engaged in combat elsewhere, only Ray remains to protect Milliane. Fortunately, Ray's embryo, Nemesis, manifests as a sword and kills the final demi dragworm, completing the quest. As Ray, Nemesis, and Shu celebrate Ray's first quest's completion, Shu explains some of Alter's history to Ray and assists him in becoming a paladin. Later, when Ray and Nemesis attempt to level up, a player killer ambushes them. Ray is killed despite his attempts to escape, and he must wait 24 hours before logging into Infinite Dendrogram again. Ray and Nemesis travel to the Tomb Labyrinth in the Royal Cemetery to gain strength, where they battle zombies and meet Figaro, one of the highest ranking players in Alter, who advises Ray to visit Gideon, a city where players can engage in duels without fear of death. Ray and Nemesis continue to fight throughout the labyrinth as Figaro departs, but Nemesis is terrified by the zombies, so Ray comforts her by polishing her blade. Ray, Nemesis, Rook, and Babylon learn that the player killing bands that had been prowling the four corners of Alter have been eliminated. Marie Adler, a journalist for the Dendrogram Information Network, confirms the story and shows the group a video of three of Alter's best players including Figaro, defeating the player killers. Marie also confirms that the player killer who has been prowling the north, the one responsible for Ray's death, has escaped and is still at large, giving Ray and Nemesis the opportunity to exact revenge. Later, as Ray and Nemesis survey a demolished forest, they encounter Cheshire, who was performing maintenance in the area. Cheshire informs Ray that maiden-type embryos, such as Nemesis, possess the same capabilities as administration AIs. The roads across Alter are now accessible following the defeat of the player killers, and Ray and his allies accept a mission to transport goods to Gideon, with Marie offering to accompany them. Unbeknownst to Ray and his allies, Gardranda, a monstrous ogre, prowls the path to Gideon. As Ray's group travels to Gideon, they encounter goblins attacking a caravan of travelers. Ray and his allies defeat the goblins until Gardranda ambushes them and weakens Ray with poisonous gas. Marie gives Ray an elixir to protect him temporarily from the effects of the poison while Rook and Babylon distract Gardranda. As the battle progresses, Nemesis transforms into her second form and acquires the ability like a flag flying the reversal, which enables her to reverse any status ailments afflicting Ray. In spite of this, Nemesis' offensive capabilities are severely hampered, and Ray can only kill Gardranda if a bullet fired by an unidentified player weakens Gardranda at the last possible moment. The quest concludes when the boss is defeated, and the group reaches Gideon, and Ray is named MVP. Ray also obtains two magical bracers as new weapons, but he injures himself while attempting to test them, until a penguin-clad stranger identifies himself as Mr. Doctor Flamingo gives Ray a healing potion that also gives him animal ears. Flamingo flees, but not before informing Ray that he will return to normal in 10 hours. Nemesis and Ray visit an item shop in Gideon, where Ray wins a unique stallion from a gacha machine. Sadly, Ray cannot ride it without first earning a special amulet. Ray attempts to earn money in order to purchase the amulet until he meets Hugo, a fellow master and Psycho, a friend of Hugo's, and they receive a mission from a woman to rescue her brother from a child napping gang. Hugo reveals his weapon, a giant robot named Maginjir, and uses it to transport Ray to the gang's stronghold, but not before telling Ray that masters of maiden-type embryos, such as Ray, do not consider Infinite Dendrogram to be a game, but rather as real as life itself. While Hugo and Psycho attack the fortress's defenders directly, Ray and Nemesis infiltrate the fortress and discover that several of the kidnapped children have been murdered and transformed into undead monsters, compelling Ray to kill them out of mercy. Hugo is attacked by a giant boss defending the fortress, compelling him to reveal Psycho, whose real name is Cossidus, as his embryo infuse her with his Maginjir. Hugo destroys the boss while Ray reaches the lowest dungeon of the fortress, where he discovers a child as the only survivor. 
However, as Ray attempts to save the child, the child awakens and attacks Ray. Ray survives the surprise attack thanks to Nemesis Halberd form and confronts the mastermind behind the kidnappings, a lick who is attempting to create a potent magical artifact known as the Crystal of Resentment. Hugo stops the lick's attempt to flee and Ray kills him, while Ray and his allies venture deep into the castle to rescue the remaining children. The Lick's bandits attempt to steal his possessions, including the crystal. Unfortunately, in response to the death of the Lick, the crystal kills the bandits and fuses with their corpses to create a new boss. Hugo transports the children to safety. While Ray faces the boss by himself, Nemesis discovers that the boss is controlled by the lingering grudges of its constituents, and she gains additional attack power whenever the Lick's grudge is in control. Ray is injured during combat, and Nemesis takes him to safety before confronting the boss on her own. Ray has a dream in which a mysterious girl observes the time that Shu saved him, and a young girl from being struck by a truck, but injured Ray's foot in the process. Ray blamed himself for his injury but Shu advised him to always have faith in himself and the decisions he makes. This causes Ray to return to the battle, but not before the girl reveals that she is the last remnant of Gardranda's mind. Having acquired sentience after Ray destroyed her original form, Ray and Nemesis defeat the boss and are rewarded with a pair of greaves. Hugo and Cossidus meet Flamingo later that night, who removes his penguin suit and discusses his strategy to end the war between Alter and Drife. Ray and Nemesis meet Marie, Rook and Babylon for breakfast after they have completed all of their major quests. Marie invites them to a fighting tournament that will take place in Gideon. Later, Shu reveals to Ray and Nemesis that he is friends with the tournament competitor Figaro. Ray visits Hugo to divide the reward for the previous quest, and Hugo advises him to travel west. Franklin informs the general of Drive's military of his plan to use the tournament to Drive's advantage as the tournament begins. Shu gives Ray a telepathy cuff, which can be used to communicate over great distances between two people. Figaro is warned by Shu that his opponents in the tournament will be formidable, but he still intends to win. Ray is about to wager on Figaro in the next match of the tournament, but Nemesis prevents him. Believing he will once again waste their money, they encounter Zunyu carrying a girl who is unconscious. Ray believes Zunyu will harm the girl, so he attempts to fight him. However, Zunyu proves to be too quick for him. Fortunately, Shu intervenes and defuses the situation, revealing that the unconscious girl is an ambassador from the Huanghe Empire and that Zunyu was her bodyguard. Ray and Shu rejoin the rest of the party as the battle between Figaro and Zunyu begins. Zunyu is able to land multiple blows on Figaro, even severing one of his lungs. But as Shu explains, Figaro possesses a unique embryo that increases his strength the longer he remains in combat. Just as it appears that Zunyu has delivered a fatal blow to Figaro's heart, Shu reveals that Figaro's embryo is shaped like a heart within his body, protecting him from the blow. Flamingo interrupts the match and reveals himself to be Franklin, a scientist employed by the Dreyf Imperium. He also reveals that he has abducted Elizabeth, the second princess of Alter, and is holding her hostage. Marie, who knew Elizabeth just before the tournament at Gideon began, becomes determined to save her from Franklin, who reveals that he has surrounded the arena with a barrier, and that if the players attempt to breach it, Franklin's monsters will destroy the city. While Marie saves Elizabeth on her own, Ray discovers that low-leveled players such as himself can pass through the barrier safely, as the barrier was only intended to contain high-leveled players who could compete in the tournament's matches. Ray, Rook, and other low-level players engage in combat with Drive's allies. Franklin informs Elizabeth of his plan to eliminate all Alter-affiliated players, a move that will leave Alter vulnerable in the upcoming conflict with Drive. Marie saves Elizabeth momentarily and inflicts fatal damage on Franklin. But Franklin transfers all of the damage he sustained to his monsters and survives as he recaptures Elizabeth. He deduces that Marie was able to kill a high-ranking player with a low-leveled embryo and orders his henchman Veldorbel to eliminate Marie. Hugo kills a group of low-ranking players who are attempting to liberate Gideon's West Gate. Marie, Hugo, and Veldorbel recall the circumstances that inspired them to play Infinite Dendrogram. Veldorbel attempts to kill Marie with his ability to manipulate sound, but she kills him by revealing her embryo. Arc and Seal. In the meantime, Franklin transports Elizabeth outside of Gideon and instructs Hugo to prevent everyone but Ray from leaving the city. Franklin is attacked by the Royal Guard, led by Liliana. As he steps outside the city, 
but he summons a monster to decimate them. Ray and Rook arrive at Hugo, who agrees to let Ray confront Franklin, but only after Ray and Hugo engage in a single attack each. As Rook stays behind and battles Hugo, Ray reaches the city's outskirts and prepares to engage in combat with Franklin. As the battle between Rook and Hugo continues, Hugo employs a skill that gradually freezes Rook's body. Rook, however, is able to deduce how Hugo's ability operates, allowing him to merge with Babylon and fight Hugo's Maginger evenly. The increased strength enables Rook to penetrate Hugo's cockpit and incapacitate him with his charm magic. Franklin reveals to Ray that the potion he gave him earlier fed him information about his status, level, and weapons, which he then used to create a monster with the sole intent of killing Ray. He also reveals that he sent Liliana's sister Millie to the monster-infested orchard in an attempt to further weaken Alter. Ray instructs Liliana and Sir Lindos of the Royal Guard to save their injured allies while he directly attacks the monster. Using his most advanced weapons, Ray is able to expose the monster's internal organs and unleash a magical attack that utterly destroys it. Ray is successful in destroying Franklin's monster but he sustains severe injuries and passes out. Liliana casts a healing spell that prevents Ray from passing away, but she cannot heal his left arm. Franklin reveals that the monster Ray destroyed was actually the weakest monster he created for the invasion, and he uses a detonator to activate a series of bombs he planted throughout Alter. However, the bombs do not detonate, and Franklin realizes that Marie has deactivated them. Hugo has been captured by Rook, who reveals to him that Franklin never intended to end the Alter Drive conflict with minimal casualties. Franklin conjures his embryo, Pandemonium, and sends an army of suicidal monsters to attack Gideon, but Ray awakens and takes on Franklin's monster to buy his allies time to prepare a counterattack. Ray is able to maintain his position with the aid of Rook, Marie, and a group of players. Franklin realizes that Hugo must have betrayed him because so many players are assisting Ray. Shu enters the battlefield and reveals himself to be the King of Destruction, the player in all of Alter with the most kills. He calls forth his embryo, a battleship that decimates a large portion of Franklin's army. Franklin recognizes that he has lost the battle and activates his final weapon, Fatum. A foreign player who had infiltrated the Colosseum uses magic to move the tectonic plates around the creature, crushing it to death. Ray reaches Pandemonium and attempts to confront Franklin, but Hugo intervenes to defend her, revealing that Franklin is his older sister. Ray sacrifices both of his arms in order to defeat Hugo and Franklin, while Shu destroys Pandemonium and Marie rescues Elizabeth. Liliana heals Ray following the conclusion of the battle, but is unable to save his left arm leaving Ray with only his right arm to continue playing the game. Franklin then removes Hugo from the Triangle of Wisdom in an effort to protect him and to remove any moral restraints he may have in his pursuit of defeating Ray. Ray has a rematch with Marie, having discovered in the second episode that she was the one who killed him. Later, Ray disconnects himself from the game and resumes his real-world college studies. Like and subscribe. Watch this next video. See you on the next one.